Today we're going to talk about the SKB series, I series gun cases. These cases come in a variety of sizes. I've got everything from smaller pistol cases up to larger assault rifle and even long barrel rifle cases. Every case in the line features a trigger latch, which uh, gives you like a secure, makes the waterproof seal possible on these. Uh, opening up the case, you can see it actually has a rubber seal that goes all the way around. And this gasket actually seals on this lip here. So when you close it, you actually get a completely waterproof seal. All the SKB line, all the SKB cases in this line feature foam, which uh, is a solid type, it's not the plug and pull. And the advantage to this is you can, when you actually cut it, you get a much, much better fit uh, with your gun. Um, and overall, this will last longer also. So this particular one has multiple layers of foam even. So, for instance, you could actually put two handguns in this case if you wanted to, stacked. Or you could do uh, the gun and a couple magazines or what other accessories you may have. The cases also feature steel edge uh, lock. So if you put a lock on there, for instance, I mean, it's nearly impossible to get it off. Um, and that's also reinforced. They also have a rubber handle, which is ergonomic and make it easy to handle. And then it has a atmospheric uh, pressure valve. And what this does, since this is a completely sealed case, if you try to open it without that valve, it'd be very hard to open. So what it does is it allows airflow to flow out of the valve, but it doesn't allow anything to go in, like water, for instance. So we're actually going to take this case as a test, and I'll actually show you guys that it is completely waterproof. Some brands say water resistance, but SKB, these are waterproof. So if I take this guy, we'll dunk them all the way down. Let's hold them for a second. wipe off the edges so we can get a fair comparison here. If we open this guy up, you can see, I mean, there's a little water around the seal, but there's absolutely no water on the foam or anywhere around it. We also have a video on cutting the actual foam out, and we'll go over some different techniques we have for that. Um, but as far as the feature overview, um, on the larger cases they also have um, roller wheels. So these are actually skate, inline skate type wheels. Um, so I mean if you get a couple of guns in this you're, you're going to need a little help getting it around. Um, but that makes them even easier to transport. And then like these have handles on both sides and a front handle. When you first receive your SKB gun case, it'll arrive just like this. It'll have uh, top layer of eggshell, and then bottom layer, and then there's actually, in this particular one, there's another three thicker layers, and then there's a bottom skinny layer just for a base. So when you open it up here, you can start to decide how you want to configure it. Um, with this particular case, um, we're going to do magazines on the bottom layer and then the actual handgun on this layer. Um, so easiest way to set this up is you can do uh, a trial run before you get into cutting it. So you can see how your layout's gonna look. I've got actual handgun here. We're gonna check the breech for safety just to be careful. So it's unloaded. This particular gun you can see, I mean, it's a uh, pretty good fit. This is a compact uh, torus here. Um, and before you're cutting into the foam, you want to try to leave uh, at least an inch on all sides if possible. Um, it'll just make the foam easier to cut also. So using that as our one of the layers, and then we've got a couple of magazines here, just for an example. Um, you know, you actually have another whole area you could use for other accessories, or you have magazines, or if you wanted to do even uh, 
a box of rounds for it make this like a target range box or something like that. I mean your options are pretty much whatever you can think of you can do it. Um, so to start what you'll do, we'll just do the handgun here and then the process is the same for magazines or any other accessories. So you can either use um, marker like I've got, just a sharpie, um, or chalk also works. Um, but first thing you want to do is trace the pattern of the gun. And you want to leave the tolerance is pretty tight. It kind of gives you a snug fit that way. So now I've got my cutout here, um, and the easiest way i found to cut the foam is actually what you'll do, you can do is uh, wet this down, don't completely submerge it, but get it so it's holding water without dripping basically, and then you can actually freeze this, um, and that'll make it easier to uh, cut and then chunks of foam will come off with the gun. So we'll get a frozen piece here in a second and do the actual cut. Okay, now that we've got our piece frozen here, um, it should be kind of hard to bend, but not completely solid, so it's still, you can still work with it. Um, I recommend using a knife like this, or you can also use like an X-Acto knife, but whatever you use, uh, just make sure it's extremely sharp, uh, preferably with a new blade in it, um, to get a nicer clean cut that way. So. Uh, the easiest way I found to do this is start with the longest edge. And when you get the corners, if you get a, on a really tight corner, uh, an exacto knife is going to work better for those. But when you can hear the knife, it basically just cuts right through it, almost like butter, really. Okay. You can see it's mostly cut all the way through, but you'll still have to kind of work at it, a, you know, a few times to get all the way through. And the more time you spend on this, the cleaner cut you'll get. But for demonstration purposes, this cut will give you an idea of the process. Once you have your basic hole, you can clean it up a little bit, clean the edges up, um, any other foam you can just see you missed. I mean, you can see it, when it's frozen like that, it comes off pretty much a pretty solid piece. So, I'd recommend you wait for the foam to dry the rest of the way out, obviously, but just so you guys can see.
and this <laughs> get rid of the lines you know you can cut a little tighter than that but you can see I mean once it's in there well in the case I mean this isn't going to go anywhere and then you just continue your layers and you can even leave these blank if you don't want to put any in. and then for the last layer uh, once all the pieces are in you still have room for any other small accessories you might want to put in the case but that's that's the process for cutting it out for uh, pistols and revolvers